My name is uh, Jerry Buhari. Uh, I'm a professor of fine arts in the Department of Fine Arts at Modibele University. Thank you very much. I'm at the University. Okay, it's good to have you here, sir. Um, I'll just ask a few questions. Like, I want to know your perspective in artwork. Looking at what's happening here now, do you see any similarity between the artwork found down east here and up north? And then, is there any contrasting to do with that in the Europe uh, world? Well, there's a relationship. Because if you look at it in terms of context, uh, there's a sense in which the works in this exhibition represents the most vibrant and dynamic artistic expression in contemporary modern art in, the, in Africa today. Uh, the connection between Zaria and Usuka is very obvious. Of course, you are aware that most of the artists that school in Zaria from the early 50s, from the middle 50s, that constitute the so-called Zaria Art Society, who the art historian Kojo Posu called the Zaria Rebel, and other artists now would rather call them Zarianists or revolutionaries. They started from Zaria. So there is an amplicolite uh, connection between Zaria and Suka in many ways. Now, the, the exhibition here uh, can be said to be like an, like an octopus or like a spider web you know, representation of what we see in contemporary African art today. Family and then ask a few questions on the artworks, African artworks. Okay, I'm Elizabeth Vandeshek, I'm artistic director of October Gallery London. Elizabeth, want to find out um, how do you see African artwork? I don't know if you've been to Nigeria ever. Well, this is actually my first trip here. I've worked enormously long with artists from Nigeria and other countries from Africa. Um, and you know, when I first entered the exhibition, I was really delighted to see it because there's so much energy and um, inventiveness in the works that I see here. So you would say you well, I used to work falling in love with the style of um, Afghan um, artworks and all? Well, you know, I've worked for you know, more than 20 years with artists in Africa. We've played a huge role in promoting contemporary African artists. Um, so we've been working with 20, 25 artists from Nigeria, from Ghana, from the Republic of Benin, etc., etc. So, you know, I'm quite familiar with a lot of the work, but there was a freshness about this exhibition, which I really enjoyed. Um, you know, the, obviously, I can see the influences of you know, the artists have, you know, well, I'm actually an Obi or Ode Chupu, um, particularly when I know I'm so familiar with El, El's work, where he um, works with the um, free-flowing form, can be rearranged by the hum on the wall and to, you know, in many different ways. So I can see his spirit in the exhibition. Then. Good to have you here. We to know you, family, and then know who's behind this uh, wonderful piece of artwork. Well, this is my work. It's my contribution to this exhibition. My name is Dr. Okwara. I'm a senior lecturer in this in the Department of Fine and Applied Arts. And um, I teach painting, design, and drawing. And this is um, my special contribution to this particular exhibition. I call it special because I did this in honor of Professor Obi Arude Tukran El Anasu. Tukran taught me and supervised my first degree while Anasu is supervised my PhD. So I'm a product of the two people we are honoring today. And in respect to what I have done, I call this culture in ascension. Or what you, I, I, I call, actually call it ascending spirit, but it, it's better interpreted as culture in ascension. The reason I made this is to tell people that our culture is not fading away, but it's ascending to greater glory. In a 
as much as many of us are reinterpreting the culture, transforming it in with modern materials and a modern understanding of what has to be. If you look at it, these are traditional pots made by traditional people. And in the book concept, in the book cosmology, we have what we call Uli. Uli is drawing and painting done by traditional Igbo women, both on body and also on the walls. So that what we see during the traditional weddings and all of exactly. that. Exactly. Even the home video people are also projecting Uli by some of the drawings they make on their bodies, some of the big movies. But here, what I'm saying I have done is to use modern materials to project the same concept of Uli on a more on a traditional port rather than modern canvas so that in our own today's world people will still see holy we are before a very wonderful piece of artwork and we believe um, you're behind it so we want to know your family and then what you have to say about this artwork what inspired it thank you i am susan t bitaka perumal egareva i was uh, I was born in Sri Lanka and I was educated in the same university. I had my first degree and second degree from this same school, University of Nigeria. Then later... Hold on one minute. You had your first and second degree in University of Nigeria? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I graduated in 96. Then later, my mom MFA was... I think it was 2001. Then later, I did my PhD at uh, the University of uh, Del Delta State University of Africa. You have a lot of history in Nigeria. Uh, I suppose... Um... Yeah, my birth are a synthesis of two cultures. Since I was brought up in Benue State, my parents lived there. We were brought up in Benue State. I decided to incorporate the fifth pictorial element with my own pictorial elements inside my work. So my works are a synthesis of Tiv and Tamil culture. Sorry, Tiv and? Tiv from Benue State, Nigeria, and Tamil from, from Jaffna, Sri Lanka. So the fusion or synthesis of? I borrow, picture, I borrow some ideas from that side and my side and try to bring it out in my studio work. So this work is, I call it things around my neck. It's about, it's about womanhood actually. You know we undergo a lot of things. It's not really easy for us to come out as artists. We have to do a lot of things. And despite that, with all those things, we try to emerge victorious. That's what I'm trying to say here. This is a mixture of both. the same challenges. So my works are most times it is under coming under female female themes and it is a mixture of both cultures. And of course since I train from Mensuka I have part of Uli inside. Okay. Professor Pat Otoko, the Dean of Faculty of Arts. Uh, I think this exhibition we are putting this event together to uh, honor our colleagues who has said in the field of arts. Uh, Honora, who is uh, in charge, is the chairman of the subcommittee that has put in place to ensure that the exhibition angle of the conference that is the Kenya Purugo, a culture of arts conference in honor of Bella Nasui and Kodiora um, Dutu. Now moves on seamlessly. An African that does showcase Africa. I wonder the kind of art he's trying to portray. I remember that um, Africans were going mainly for functional arts, and um, uh, the issue of authenticity began to pick in when people began to mass produce. Uh, I want to feel that what they are doing here, they are fully on course, and that they are using what obtains within our environment. To reflect our values and cultures, and essentially what we, we preach, I trained as an anthropologist and um, we believe in uh, ensuring that you 
maintain contextual balance in whatever you are doing. So you ensure that the product reflects the environmental context. And that is what I'm seeing here. Almost all the works, starting from those who use wood to portray what they call as it, um, uh, a period or whatever. Uh, but the important thing is that the environment has been taken fully into consideration in all the exhibits that we have seen here. And that is essentially what we encourage. Yeah, with respect to modern, those in Europe and America, they do the art to reflect whatever they do in their own country. Uh, that was also to be, you know, uh, colonized mentally too. Having colonized us um, as a country, our art will reflect what we are, so that we add value to our heritage. Thank you, Prof, for your wonderful contribution. Thank you, Thank you very much.